It won't be long before cannabis is legal here in Canada, and people will be working in the marijuana industry. But there is fear that those working in or investing in pot production may find themselves targeted when trying to cross the U.S. border, even being denied entry or receiving a lifetime ban. Gary Simmons is a cannabis consultant. I asked him point blank, is this going to be an issue for Canadians who overlap with the cannabis industry? Yes, it will. <laughs> Simmons is aware of people who have already received lifetime bans from entering the United States because they admitted in one way or another to an overlap with the cannabis trade. In fact, a fellow I know, uh, Sam Neimer, who's uh, an investor in the space, as far as I know, he's never consumed cannabis in his life, but he's an in he has invested in some companies that are on the stock market. In fact, some of them are in the stock markets in the U.S. But he was crossing into the United States uh, from B.C. into Washington. He was stopped at the border. He was asked what he invested in, and he admitted that he had uh, invested in some cannabis companies on the stock market, and uh, he was banned for life from entering the U.S. I have contacts at almost every level in the cannabis consortium. Retailers, wholesalers, growers, investors, botanists, scientists, and gray market entrepreneurs. The ones I called admitted to me they were terrified of their next trip to the border. And for that reason, wouldn't talk on camera or the record because simply appearing in the story could be enough to catch that lifetime ban. As of right now, it's illegal from a federal perspective in the U.S. to um, uh, have possession or use of marijuana. McRae advises people answer questions honestly when asked about their cannabis use at the border. However, an honest answer doesn't have to come in the form of a yes. So if it comes up, the, the response sh really should be a no response answer and just uh, basically uh, requesting that you do not enter at that time and try again another time. Canada needs to discuss with the United States government. It doesn't seem to be an issue anywhere else though, where pretty much everyone else in the world has said, you know, Canada has its own legal framework, nobody here is doing anything illegal and it just isn't really considered a problem. If you do receive a lifetime ban from the United States, you can apply for a special waiver that permits entry. It's about $600 US and the process can take up to a year to complete. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.